pistol. Has the snap. Firing to the far corner of the end zone. In the air. Max Williams! Yes! And a touchdown! The freshman went up in traffic and scores a TD. Welcome back to Gopher Football with Jerry Kill. I'm Natalie Nias. In his second start at quarterback for the Gophers, redshirt freshman Mitch Leidner completed over 66% of his passes, rushed 66 yards, and connected with Max Williams for a touchdown. To take us through their impressive connection, Mike Max joins Coach Lime Grover in the film room. Thanks very much. We talked about it earlier. Max Williams was an impressive touchdown catch against Michigan to even the score in the first quarter. Now, Coach, as you see this, is this about getting one-on-one and then allowing a great player to make a great play? In, in part, yes. The other thing that, uh, that people don't realize is, is that Michigan was a big blitz team, so they liked to blitz you more when you had sp- spread personnel, when you had a lot of receivers in the game, and they got a little nervous when you had multiple tight ends in the game. So one of the nice things was was uh, we have Lincoln Pleshek over here into the boundary, but we also have Max Williams, who's a tight end. So when we got into the huddle, it's what we call 12 personnel, two receivers, two tight ends. They hadn't shown much of a tendency to blitz that. So we felt like, first off, we were getting them out of a tendency where they could heat us up and yep. give us the blitz. And then the second part of that was what I had spoke about before is giving us a chance to get Max out in space and get him the football because uh, we're, we're realizing, you know, with each and every game, the things that he can do. So this was a great opportunity. I had talked about it here. Uh, the backer came out over the top of uh, Max, and they were almost looking to uh, try and what we call tick this off with the, with the safety. He was going to take whatever came open, and as Max worked out, uh, you know, that's a converted defensive end. They were playing at linebacker, and he got caught up. The, the, the corner was a little bit. Is he supposed to try a double team here, or is he supposed yeah, to release him? Yeah, you know what? We think he was supposed to try and stay on that yeah. thing. And then the, the corner got a little confused because we brought the receiver right back yeah. under. So he had to confirm that the safety was over there because they didn't want to cut Derek Engel loose either. And by the time we got to that point, the big key on this was obviously uh, Max makes a great play. But Mitch Leidner does a nice job because there's no pressure, because we did this out of 12 personnel. We literally have double teams across the board almost the entire way up front. That gave, that gave Mitch a chance to really set his feet yep. and put a good ball on him. And, and those combination of two things gave us a chance right there for the score. And throw it up the ring, use his size then, so you're not going to get hurt. And he, you know, exactly. If you're going to make a player, it's going to be incomplete. Exactly. It went from a big defensive end type of linebacker they were playing to a, a 5'11", you know, 5'11 corner, you know, 190 pound corner, and that's what that's the kind of advantage you want to get down in situations like that. So that was a that was a, a real uh, rewarding cap to that drive. When we return, we'll revisit the film room to break down the Golden Gopher defense. Call this uh, Buckeye front three down. Uh, that's actually Cameron Botticelli, a defensive lineman there, stacked right behind uh, right behind the nose. And what he's going to do is he's going to pick a side. 